and we live. I'm finna, I'm finna uh, put it on my page, and then we finna, we finna do it. This is the war. Oh, oh boy, I got Pony Moon in this motherfucker. I'm sick of you. Pony Moon. Sick of Pony Moon. Out of all the bald head niggas in the world mad at me right now. Don't no bald head <laughs> nigga like me. Oh shit. Y'all just gonna have to be mad. Don't get mad at the niggas. Y'all niggas were brushing y'all hair too much. Rolling you next. Look at him with his head. Look at him. Look. You it, is, it is what it is. You I next rolling. I ain't crying about it. You next. Let it be. Hey, you seen a, a white man can't jump when they said let it be, then. Let it be, then. Hey, happy, new, happy New Year to y'all, man. Same to you, man. Likewise, my brother. Yeah, man. Got that real what y'all do for the New Year? What y'all, what y'all, how y'all bring the New Year in? Sitting around looking crazy. <laughs> no, I'm old. <laughs> he old too. He just thank you. Hey, hey, you know I'm old. I just, try, yeah. I, just try, I just try to stay out of the way. Shit, I was working, man. I was working, working on New Year's Eve. Yep. Oh, okay. We we live. Mm -hmm. And uh I tag both of y'all so y'all should be able to see it. Okay, and yeah, let me share it real fast. We can go ahead and crank up though whenever you're ready. Man, you know how we crank this thing up, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me share it real quick then. All right. Man, we got shouting in here, man. The first study. Of Ooh, this is going to be a big year. If hey. you start out with shouting. Hey. Hey, 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 man, don't be looking all on top of my refrigerator and shit, man. Man, I'm, I already got about three. I got about three jokes lined up already. That nigga got them club crackers. He can't let it go hey. through. Hey, get up off! Hey, get up off my motherfucking refrigerator, man! I bet there's some tuna fish around that motherfucker somewhere. I you better there. say it. You better motherfucker say it. At least I ain't got no motherfucking ice chest. Oh. <laughs> hey, at least I ain't. At least I ain't in that motherfucker looking stupid with an ice chest. Nah, you right to the motherfucker. Like, like some solid niggas. <laughs> What's up? Happy New Year to all, man. Happy New Year, y'all. How y'all doing, man? And it's I'm, up. I'm enjoying the show, man. Y'all doing y'all thing. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Shit, you doing yours, too? Man, I said something about some keys or something, nigga. You had some keys in your hand, nigga. Yeah. Come on, now. That's big. Yeah. Nigga, that's bigger than the record deal. You know right. what I'm saying? On some real shit. Nah, man, I, ain't, I ain't even been here five years yet, man, and, uh, Nigga done made some great accomplishments, man. Proud of myself, man. Got a nice little support team right now. Got got a lot of people that's uh with me for me and not with me for uh what I can potentially provide or you know, or who I was or was doing or whatever. They mm -hmm. they they genuinely with me. Mm -hmm. That's what you want though. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. Cause you can have a thousand motherfuckers. Yeah, I always go to the movie three hundred. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that ever seen that movie three hundred? Yeah, hell. Yeah, yeah, I always go to that. It wasn't but three hundred of them niggas. You feel me? Them niggas were taking no thousand, nigga, hundred thousand men arms. You know what I'm saying? But them, but them little, them little bitty niggas who was on the same page. Right. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Hey man, you ain't you ain't you ain't sure it yet. It take you that long. I just did it, fool. Calm down. Hey, you and with that being said, this your boy Pune Moone R M J R. And this is the, the war. war. Oh, oh word. Hey, it's up. Y'all know who? <laughs> hey, twenty twenty four, nigga. They ain't expecting me. I'm still here, man. I'm old as a motherfucker. I'm like that. We Damn made it. it, nigga. We still bouncing, nigga. We still here. That's a blessing, man. Right. Hey, everybody who made it, man, that's a blessing. We here, man. We got a chance. We got a shot. Hey, man, y'all share this, because this is going to be epic for the 2024. This is how we going to start off the world word. They thought we were playing in 2023. Ooh. That's what they thought. Ooh. They thought we were playing. Mm-mm. 
Ain't no plan. Go ahead, roll. Hey, so we gonna start it off like this. We ain't even fin- we ain't finna sugarcoat it. We finna get right to it. So Come let's do this. I, I, sp- I ain't spoke on it yet. You spoke on it, shouted. Me and Lil Mo. No, yeah, we have BG. Let let's get let's clear let's clear the air. <laughs> I'm sick of. I told Lil Mo when I seen the paperwork. I said BG is officially in the tell-all game. He do told got, me. Do you got the pictures that you showed me of the paperwork? Man, what? he told it, man. Hey, man, listen. It is what it is, man. Like, I fuck with dude, man. I don't, I, I know him personally. Well, I knew him personally. I haven't seen that man in years. That's the old boy, uh, people right now. Um, but man, it's like, once you go in that grand jury, man, it's like, whether you step in the courtroom in the grand jury or whether you go in the back room in the grand jury, I mean, it is what it is. You don't, you don't. You don't cross the line. You don't did your thing. Hold on, we can't hear you, short. Say something. Shout. Click on the hotmail button. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Click on the hotmail button. <laughs> my nigga shouted talking about, hey man, send the send the link to my hotmail. <laughs> say say something, short. Hey, you you hit he done hit mute on on his he mic. Hit mute. So why we why we waiting on Shorty? Y'all share this, man, because I'm finna Lil Mo, this Lil Mo dude, man. He he wanna ride with him. I say, he told. I say, he told you showed me some paperwork with some with at the end that it didn't have no signatures on it. <laughs> so, so yeah, they let me know. They let me know. You the only dude looking for a signature on paperwork. If it's official, you gotta have some signatures on it. You got to sign it. You got to sign it. Yeah. You gotta, I think you, you gotta say I it. think you hit mute, Shorty. Call him, call him on your phone, man. I think he on his phone, goofball. Oh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, man. It's all good, y'all. Y'all work with us. We got to coach the. We got to coach. You know what I'm saying? My nigga been gone for a minute. He ain't out. He ain't all the way on up the, the park. Hey, 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 something, Shorty. No, I can't hear you. Don't talk to me. Don't what talk are we waiting to me. on, Shorty? Don't talk to then what me. we gonna do? I'm back on my feet. Don't talk to me. Then what we gonna do? Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me when you see me in the street. Don't talk to me. It's 2024, man. Then what we gonna do? Act like you don't know me. And we don't own rights to me. Me. We don't all rights to the music. You know how it is when you're falling. Everybody will holler. What's the thing you fall off? You lose your Oh, we can hear it. We can hear it. Oh, crazy, man. Somebody call him. These motherfuckers call him, man. Medical transport on, on New Year's. He making money on New Year's Day. Legit. Legit. Get that money. Hey, man. Yeah, BG, BG said. BG said, man, if you work with the police, don't talk to me. That what he right. said. That what he said. Better proof that though. Y'all uh, here we we... need to know, man. Show me where it happened at. I showed you. You don't want to believe it. It didn't have no signature on it. So, okay. No sign- Did you have to sign some shit, Shouty? Don't you got to sign some shit? If you go, the- if you go in the grand jury, don't you got to sign some shit? I ain't going on no grand jury. I'm talking about, but but B. Nigga, I went in the courtroom. Fuck you talking about? I ain't going no motherfucking grand jury. Fuck a grand jury. You don't fuck about no goddamn grand jury. (laughs) 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 Nigga, I went in that motherfucker, and I didn't do it, and they did. That's it. (laughs) 
<laughs> hey, hey, you call it whatever the fuck you want to call it. Oh, I know man. I didn't do it. And I know they wasn't in my motherfucking spot when they say they did it. And what that was think, it. What you think about Charles the White, bro? That nigga, that nigga epic, bro. Dude. Yeah. Man, he Charles. hit the nigga in the head with a flower pot, bro. Charles White, Charles White, Charles White, Charles White a bad, Charles White a genius, man. That nigga a bad motherfucker. That nigga smart as hell, man. That nigga, and that nigga be knowing facts that you can't get him up against the rope. Everybody be trying to get him up against the work, get him up against the rope, but you can't out talk, dude. He got them facts. Right. Then, then he going to switch it up on you. Right. He going to switch it up on you. Right. You can't, you can't out talk that dude, man. He got down. He, 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 he educated himself on what he talking about. So he ain't no nigga to just jump out there and talk about something. And then got a back to go back, come back later and say, nah, I ain't mean it like that. I meant it like this. He yeah. ain't got to do that. He already mm -hmm. know what the fuck he talking about. So when you jump out there, he be waiting on you to jump out there. Yeah. Yeah. So with that being said, that's, that's a good segue. With that being said, if it is true, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if the nigga told on the nigga. I know y'all want a nigga to be the told on the nigga so bad. You know what I'm saying? It, Maybe he did. It ain't, hey, if he told on the nigga, though. You said listen, what? A little more, listen a little more. With me, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't give a fuck what somebody did, what somebody doing in their situation. I don't, I don't wish that on nobody. I don't wish nobody to ever be in that situation. If you out there playing that game, though, that's part of it. And like I talked to Lil' Rolling the other day, it, it's just what it's called, a game. Either you're going to play it or you're going to get played in the game. Me personally, anything that I do or did, then, you know, if I'm fucked up for it, I'm fucked up for it, I'm hit. But I'm not finna, I'm, if, if all three of us in the car right now, like we're on this motherfucking screen and them people pull us over and, and, and you put the motherfucking pistol under the seat and Lil' Rolling put the dope up under the seat, and I'm sitting here driving this motherfucking Uber or medical, whatever the fuck I got going on to get me some money. And y'all niggas ain't saying this, y'all, you know what? I'm going to give it to you. You need to yeah. take your motherfucking charge. I'm not going. And, you know, and I heard niggas say so many, so many times, God, no, nah, you supposed to went on here and lay it down and then you straighten that shit in the end. Now nah, I might not see that nigga. No more. I might die in that motherfucker. I ain't for now. Nah, I'm finna straighten it right now. <laughs> this is no <laughs> more. Oh, <laughs> word. Yo. So I've been on record. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask. I'm getting to my question. I'm getting to my. Go question. ahead. Come on. Come on with it. So this is what I'm saying. So let's just say, for, let's just say hypothetically, it is true. The nigga did snitch. You know what I'm saying? If he went to that grand What's jury, ain't no fucking. What's the difference? If he went to that grand jury, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ain't no hypothetically. Nah, dude, bullshit, okay, he snitched. Okay, that nigga ain't no better than me. Y'all, nah, you can't. Let me no, say, you ain't nigga, gonna give me, me no pass. You don't give him now neither. Fuck him. Hey, no, no, no. That's you what see, I'm getting at. So, look, so if so if if he told what's the difference between Marta Pimp fucking with him versus Marta Pimp fucking with you? If if he told, if, if BG told. Cause everybody know Marta Pimp fuck with BG. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's, you know what, man? That's the question you know for what? all though. You know what, man? I feel I personally feel, man, them dudes and his buffoons. I just feel like however they feeling, however they however they feeling towards me at this point, they always felt that way. That that you know, I learned something. A motherfucker told me this one time. He said, uh, he said, what's in a motherfucker? What what's in a person's heart will come out their mouth, right? So at all the way up until that point, I haven't gave I hadn't gave a motherfucker no reason for what in their heart to come out of their mouth. You see what I'm saying? Or out of their actions, I haven't gave them that. I wasn't nothing but as good to them as best that I knew. You see what I'm saying? Everything, every move that I made from, from fucking laying in niggas' bushes to kicking niggas' doors in, from snatching niggas at the bay and putting them in the trunk, all of those stupid ass shit we was doing back then, we was, I was doing that for us. I wasn't just doing that for me. You see what I'm saying? So, But I went and laid down, and just like I told Big Mike on the, at the interview, at you know the first one we did, like I told him, I said, nigga, did you have to worry about anything? Did you go to jail? Ma, did you have to worry about anything? Did you go to jail? All you niggas could have went to jail on some sort of conspiracy if I was just so much on the bullshit. You see what I'm saying? So uh, I just feel as if, man, all them dudes that 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 rode the coattail, and that's why I say that, and I and I mean that, and I'm standing on that. All them niggas that was coattail riding at that point of time, that's just what they was doing, coattail riding, and was looking for uh, whatever avenue that they they could to to say 
the worst shit about a nigga. Like you couldn't, you ain't have nothing bad to say about me, but I was in the streets doing that shit for real, right? I, so I always, you know, I ain't never played by the rules. I done said that before. So I always was a, on some bullshit at all times. You know what I mean? So, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like he will accept dude though. He gonna accept him. He a bigger celebrity. He well, he is a celebrity. I wasn't a celebrity. I was a local ghetto rap star. <laughs> Yeah, one of the biggest though. One of the biggest. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So it is what it is, man. Uh, being in that situation, man, a nigga cried many nights, prayed many nights. You know what I mean? Uh, felt like I lot of, uh, let a lot of people down, had a lot of people counting on the movement, counting on what was going on, counting on, you know, what was going to happen. And I let a lot of people down, man. And I have apologized to them time after time. Uh, I'm I'm done with apologizing. I'm out of apologizing. I ran out of tears, and now I ain't got no more tears for no motherfucker. So I'm out here moving forward, and I just felt like as if uh, the man above, man, put me in that situation to put to take all of them people out of my life that didn't need to be in my life in the first place. You know, I ain't fucking rich right now. I'm doing okay. I'm happy with where I'm at. Uh, I ain't got a whole lot of money, but I got some money. You feel what I'm saying? So. Um, I'm just happy with where I'm at, man, and I'm happy they where they at. I hope they doing good in their life. Just leave me the fuck alone, please. I mean, I'm gonna ask this. So I don't I'ma ask this kind of shifting gears. Why do y'all think so many non-street dudes is concerned with what's going on in the streets as far as snitching? Because it, it don't really be the dudes in the street who really be, oh, uh, man, he's snitching. If they do, they do that kind of on the side. I hear mostly non-street dudes, man, he a rat. And I'm like, bro, you ain't even in the street. Why you worry about a nigga ratting or anything if you ain't right. in the street? Oh, uh, man, my personal opinion on that is like, the niggas... The dudes that say stuff like that and comment on it ain't been nowhere. They ain't, they haven't, you know, they haven't been in a situation to where um, these people coming at you with a big ass number, what we was calling football numbers for something that your partner did. You saying, saying like something that your partner did and he ain't standing on. That's the difference when you, you know, you get caught up in a situation and, and you know, for sure, that this nigga gonna eat his gonna gonna eat his big gonna eat his you know eat his charge and you can set your ass down and relax. But if a motherfucker ain't if you ain't sure about that and you know everybody get to looking at each other and I done been in that situation time after time after time after time after time from a young nigga I've been in and out man group homes uh fucking uh, uh youth centers uh on graduated on now to 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 the uh, state prison from the state prison to the federal prison so. A nigga know the game. You know what I mean? A nigga done been through all this shit. Y'all there? Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. I just soloed it cause cause you were talking. Yeah, so a nigga know the game, a nigga done been through all that shit, man. So it's like um it's been so many times that 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 I got away. You know what I mean? I was always the fastest one of all of us that was out committing whatever crime we was down committing. I was little and I was fast and they couldn't catch me. Right? But look, guess what? Grandmama, they be at grandmama door knocking. So my motto was when I was in there and I used to tell niggas all the time and they be like, man, come on, man. Shh, quiet, man. You, man, you too open about that shit. I'm like, man, fuck these. Now, I don't give a fuck about this shit. Listen, I've been getting told on my whole motherfucking life. My turn. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? This give me is one, give me one time. This is the oh, war oh, of words. <laughs> Yo, hey man, just give me one time, man. Just give me one time, and I, and, and I ain't, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't like doing it for no time cut or no shit like that. It's like, it's like hell. I was doing it to to assure that I wasn't gonna get any more time. Nigga, I got two hundred and seventy six months. God damn, how much more time do I need to get? You know, do the math. Two hundred and seventy-six months, and I just had some crack. Like all my, all my shit, my troubles was from what everybody else was doing. Yeah. You know, I, have, you know, nigga fell back. Them people talking about giving me that money, so I fell back. I went, I went out there like that, doing that weird ass shit. And, well, and then looking back, 
looking back, it was weird ass shit. Back then, it wasn't weird ass shit. You know what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I was looking at uh, you had did a live the other day. You uh -huh. had did a live the other day. That shit, you was saying some real ass shit on there, bro. You was right. like, uh, uh, nigga, go sit down for thirty years standing on these codes, and then don't know them niggas don't send you, don't nobody send you no money. Don't nobody fuck with you, you know. Don't nobody go help your mom out. Don't nobody do nothing. Then you get out of jail. All you get is, man, that nigga real, right? Man, that's all you nigga. get, bro. Them niggas ain't well, got no signed. bag. Them niggas ain't got no bag of money for you. Them niggas in the same like you situation. gave all that up. You gave you gave all that up. Right. Just so nigga can say, man, that nigga real, right? And and by no means am I encouraging that, cause it's wrong. I ain't gonna. I, I know it is. It's fucked up. You know, it's it's right, wrong. You gotta, it's just something you gotta up. think about, though. It's right. It's, I think a lot of niggas think about it before they right. before they tell. They think about it. They like, damn. Right. What's more important to you, man? You know, you go in that motherfucker. You going out. You going out, bro. At I'm gonna say 25 years old. So your mama probably gonna be about 40, at least 50. If you going there at 25, your mama at least 50. Your dad mm -hmm. at least 50. If you got any motherfucking kids, nine times out of ten, they gonna be maybe a year old maybe three old three years old depending on how old you was when you start producing kids with the female that you had them with so is she gone when you go to jail that's it my man geno b said it the best the other day he broke that shit down on live yes go to jail you ain't got no old lady that's it she whoever old lady you yeah it's old man? so now you got niggas in and out of your kid life and you sitting there with that solid nigga shit. your mama got health problems she in and out the hospital she ain't got no ride Hell, I'm going through that with my mom and my aunt right now. You know, uh, your mama ain't got no fucking ride to the grocery store. Your mama ain't got no support. Your mama ain't got no ride to the family functions during the holidays. You see what I'm saying? Your fucking kid is being raised by some nigga smoking motherfucking blacks and like Lil Mo and motherfucking Moon, yeah. Moon yeah. Like, this is the war. No, the no, word. No, no, no. You know, your motherfucking kid getting raised by this old stupid, ignorant, ugly ass nigga. <laughs> Who mad at you because you making whatever decision you making to try to goddamn get the fuck up out of there to your family? So you over there being mean to your motherfucking kid, uh -huh. your daughter, and you know, Lord forbid, if you got a daughter, you got all type of creepy ass old ass niggas. You don't know what they on. So now mm -hmm. you in now your mind racing. You got all this shit going on in your head. Like what's going on with my kid? What's going on with my mama? What's going on with my house? What's going on with my car? What's going on with this and that? But it ain't nothing you can do but be a solid nigga. <laughs> so you mean you know to tell me you mean to tell me these street niggas out of all the street niggas nigga won't even give that nigga mama a ride no they don't give your motherfucker they ain't give nigga them nigga on right oh they gonna shout at mama right there nigga gonna ride right on past them now now in my situation i can say man a lot of people have stepped up and helped a nigga aunt and a nigga mama they see them out in walmart and i appreciate all y'all for that just watching man and not in a harmful way because you know Lord forbid a nigga jump out there like that. It's gonna be some bullshit. We're gonna turn that, tear that motherfucker up, and I'm going back to the penitentiary fast. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. um, uh, I appreciate everybody that that has uh, lended a sending hand to them from the from the car to bus drivers to the that know who they are and know who my family is, not just me personally, but know who moms that is and who aunt that is. I appreciate all of that. But yeah, man, niggas, man, when you get in that motherfucker, man, ain't nobody fucking with you. Man, I had to, man, I got up in that motherfucker. I had to meet a lady from Vermont. The lady was from Vermont, didn't have no teeth, had some fake teeth. They was always in her mouth sideways. She always <laughs> had mayonnaise and mustard in the corner of her mouth. Nigga, I'm sitting up there doing that shit to just survive, to just be all right, to better go to the store. That's what so I had you, to do. So you were finessed two times before finessed two times. <laughs> no, nah, I was, I was shouted Peter, real shouted Peter. This is the no. war. Oh, no word. Yeah. But man, yo, niggas ain't, man, don't, don't, when you get in, ain't nobody giving a fuck about you. And then you come home and they had these big ass celebrations and shit. Go rent the motherfucking, what's the spot down there now? Mary's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold up. A nigga go do 30 years and his welcome home party is at Mary's. Yeah. Got him at Mary's and shit. And got, a, got some of these right here. <laughs> full of gin. They don't even got the real De Leon in the motherfucker. They got gin in the goddamn bottle. 
Patron and shit. They got the Patron yeah. bottles with gin in it. You don't know what the fuck you drinking. Fuck with them weird ass niggas down there. And they, all they gonna do is, man, you a solid ass nigga, man. I looked up to you, man. Get, could you please get the fuck away from me? Please. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I I got a message for all them real niggas, man. Yeah. Right. When you go do 20 and 30 years for the street code, you real, real stupid. And that that's my I mean, take on it, man. I mean, but like I keep saying, Lil' Roll and Lil' Mo, man. I was there. I was out there in the west side, man. I was hard on DSA. I was hard on anybody who named that came up and doing some shit like that, but I didn't know no better. You see what I'm saying? I ain't know no better, man. You know, you you know, you know, disrespecting niggas in public. Nigga, you did this, you did that, but you really don't know. So the best thing they could have did right now is say, I need to see that work. If I see that paperwork, then I go on it. Like, you know, that's the that's the best thing you could do. But hell, I had my motherfucking paperwork all the way through the goddamn system. That, the, the paperwork ain't said shit. Yeah. What that mean? Yeah. Because, yo, this is what people don't understand. I'm going to use me as an example. If I tell on somebody, it ain't going to be in my paperwork that I told on you. Right. That what the, yeah. that what the dude. Yeah. That so shit I, got a whole black line through it. Nigga told on me, nigga, they had the whole black line through it. Right. That. That's and how mine was. Got, the name, the they name said, was they blacked said, out. Nigga, you got to go to trial if you want to know who the name under that line. Right. That, that what they told you. Right. You got to yeah, go to motherfucking trial. Me. That what my lawyer told me. Or pill it. But, but oh, my lawyer said, appeal. I will tell you that is not a good decision to make because they got a substantial evidence from this witness that you that meaning they had phone conversations, they had all types of shit to prove. So he was like, I wouldn't do that. Just take, you know, what they give you. You know what I'm saying? Right. The feds got so vicious, bro, that they now they don't let your paperwork come out of uh, R&D. It's called receiving and discharge. So when you first come in there, you got to go through receiving and discharge. They mm -hmm. don't let your paperwork come past that. If you got your PSR or P some niggas call it PSI, pre-sentence investigation or PSR, pre-sentence report, they don't let that come out of there. They take that from you. And if somebody try to mail it to you, they intercept it in the mail. Sometimes it'll slide through, but most of the time they intercept it. So now what everybody do is do what, uh, what, uh, what, Terrence Gangster Williams was talking about they go on Pacer. So mm. you can go on you can go on that site called Pacer and get uh, this uh specifics to a, a person's case. Yeah. But most niggas don't know, man. You don't know if a nigga done told him, man. It, it, I see so many niggas all the time, dog. Uh well, I seen I'm I'm not down there like that, so I don't really know much about these 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 cats around here. Joe but, Jenkins man. said Doc is sheet. Doc is sheet. Yeah. Yeah. Doc is What's sheet. What's up, Joe? Yeah, you get that Doc is sheet. And uh, you can find out like that, but um, a lot of niggas, man, you got a lot of niggas running around right now. I ain't trying to like expose nobody. I ain't on that. I know, you know, you got niggas that done made control. I had niggas made control buys for me. You see what I'm saying? So I ain't, I, I ain't on that. That ain't what I'm on. I'm a civilian. I'm just old civilian. I'm just, in, I'm just getting. It. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just getting my money how I should have been getting. It. I should have been getting my money like I'm getting it now, and I was, but I was straddling the fence, right? I was still over here trying to fucking hustle over here to make this over here look like it need to make, and, and and I was fucking up, and I got caught, right? Nigga got down about that shit, and he went and did whatever he did, and I got caught, right? So now, so now I'm caught for what I'm caught for. And these niggas caught for what they caught for. So why the fuck you want me to? What I mean, what you want me to do? State and federal time? I'm not gonna do it. I I, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it today. Yeah. I'm not gonna do it. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I don't give a fuck how nobody feel. I'm not gonna do it. Fuck you. Yeah. You ain't gotta talk to me. And I ain't gonna. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. <laughs> don't talk to me. <laughs> so speak wow. to that. So oh, okay, so Gangsta Williams, you just you just brought up Gangsta Williams, Terrence Gangsta Williams. You know right. what I'm saying? That's that Birdman brother. You know what right. I'm saying? So mm -hmm. now that this coming out by BG snitching, I feel like that's kind of a similar situation between you and like you and Marlon with BG. Cause like how he gonna fuck with how Birdman gonna fuck with BG, but not fuck with his brother. You know what I'm saying? And his brother told him some dead niggas. Right. How you felt about that? Like nigga told on some dead niggas. Niggas mad about that. These niggas too hard, man. Yeah, you too hard. Nah, these niggas too dead hard. Nigga. Damn. Man, listen. Big Katie go do no time. Nigga, 
Man, listen. God, damn. Man, I had never had no shit like that said about me, bro. And man, them motherfucking people kept pulling me over, man. That shit was just crazy, man. Like, like, like I'm to my every corner I turned, the people pulling me over, drawing down on a nigga and talk about some. I got my hands in everything and counter this shit. And I, I now that's a whole nother thing. We'll say this for the other situation that we that we all been talking about. But man, it, it started with counterfeit money, bro. Mm. That's where all that shit started from. Counterfeit money. Damn. Right? Break down, break it down. The shit started with counterfeit money with 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 old with old Edgar, old e Eloke. <laughs> <laughs> this man, this man, you know, and, old, and, and RP Hollywood, Hollywood, man, Hollywood gave that man up, passed that man some old counterfeit ass money, man. That man don't went and spent that damn, well, his gal went and spent that money and got fucked up, and 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 and, and Secret Service got involved and all that old weird ass shit. And they talking about money plates, and, and and next thing I know, they got them got me all up against the motherfucking fence, talking about some plates, and I got my hands in everything from. From kidnapping to to home invasion to now counterfeit money, oh uh, nigga, you going to jail? And I was like, man, I'm just trying to raise my dog and my son, dog. That's all I'm trying to do, man. I don't know nothing about what these people got going on, man. Please yeah. let me make it, man. Those people got down found a uh, uh, half a, a gram of crack. Those people felt they, they wanted a crumb, anything to put yeah. the press game on old old shout, and they did a good job. Cause when they started talking about some 25, 30 more motherfucking years over here in a whole nother jurisdiction, I, yeah. I ain't doing it. I'm not gonna yeah. be able to do that, sir. <laughs> sir, I ain't gonna be able to do it, sir. I yeah. just, I gotta I gotta hang up my real nigga. I gotta hang up the real nigga card today because I ain't gonna be able to do that. You I'm, play, gonna nigga, yeah. I'm gonna let a nigga do that who can do it because I can't. <laughs> 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 oh, so yeah. they wanted you to do your time and somebody else's too. Hell yeah, they talking about yeah. Because, I mean, because a, a a different sentence wouldn't have been for nothing that I had nothing to do with. I ain't had no goddamn counterfeit money. I ain't killed nobody. I didn't stab no nigga with no screwdriver. I didn't put no nigga in no trunk. I ain't do that. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? And you wasn't at my studio. Damn. So I mean, I mean. What you want me to do? Nah, you gotta take it, nigga. You got to take it, nigga. Nah, I ain't, you want nah. to take it? Take gas. <laughs> take <laughs> gas. <laughs> Tell no, me. No, yeah. no, no, no. I ain't taking it. I ain't gonna take it. I wasn't. I ain't gonna take it then. I ain't gonna take it now. Now I might have took it when I was a little young. Take that, bro. I don't think too many niggas will take it. Right. I don't think. What's up, Joe Jenkins? Joe Jenkins said, "What's up, y'all?" Hey, man. What's this up, is. This is the thing. So Joe know Joe know what the fuck I'm talking about. Joe, you know. Yeah. yeah. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Joe know what he been in now. And I ain't yeah. saying that in no disrespectful way or in no no like shoot no shot or nothing. I'm just saying he been in that situation. So he know. He yeah. done seen it. Any nigga that done did that federal time, you done seen it, you know. Y'all two niggas got two of the biggest stories that ever come out of Chattanooga. Right. Y'all Vic Novine and Jacoway. Right, the top four stories ever come out of Chattanooga: the thirty-two, Jake away, uh, Shawty, and, and no uh, and no Veen. Them, yeah, the top, them the top stories that ever come out of Chat. Right, and all of my guys, I respect and Nate, Nate Bimford. Yeah, Nate yeah. Bimford. You know, much love, much respect to all them dudes, man. But uh, the nigga they had to do what the fuck they had to do. Fuck all that bullshit and all of them. And guess what? All of them out here doing okay. Yeah, you see yeah. what I'm saying? Everybody doing okay, but uh, and this yeah, ain't beer, y'all. Just let y'all know this ain't no beer. Yeah, I was finna get you too, boy. I finna saw that nigga drinking a beer. What they say with right his, now? Make sure you good, see that with, right. his, with his good alcohol denouncing ass. Make sure yeah. you see that right there. What they I, say? He might have looked. He might have pulled the, pulled the non alcohol like out and pulled pulled the alcohol. Right, this, this, this ginger man, this ginger. This is my, my beer substitute. I uh, Joe on now, Joe. Joe, what about the niggas, man? That used to be so we used to be, you know, on the compound. Them people come snatch a nigga, right? 
Well, they don't come snatch it. Them niggas be done called them and told them to come get them. So they ain't snatch you. Mm. Niggas, niggas try to act like they just came to snatch it. So you look up and a nigga gone. Nigga going to R&D. So you got to go through R&D to get in there. And you got to go through R&D to get out, right? So you look up. So you look up. You see one of the homies leaving. Hey, homie, where you going? Hey, people don't come call me. Tell me some, they need to talk to me. I need to go to court, man. I don't know. I don't know what the hell they talking about, man. I'm going to go up here and see what they talking about. Nah, nigga, you, all you got to do is don't go. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, you ain't so, got to go. You ain't got to go. So then you come back. I'm, <laughs> take me with. Can I go? <laughs> Damn. Uh, got like that. Yeah, hey, man. listen. Yeah, that shit crazy. Nigga, niggas all in your fucking... Out of silver, that was vicious. Niggas all out there trying to get in your fucking lockbox and get your paperwork and see what you... Got them, you know, what your charge is and I'll get on their phone and call them motherfucking people, man. Them niggas was crazy. But um, you look up and a nigga going out that door and you be like, hey, homie, where you going? Many people tell me they need to talk. I don't know what they need to talk to me about. I don't want to talk to no mother. Where don't go? All you got to do is don't go. Yep. Then he come back. Then a nigga come back two, three hours later, maybe two, three days later. Nigga come oh, back. Nigga, oh, Two, three days? Yeah. Nigga come back. Yeah, nigga be telling for two, three days. God damn, <laughs> nigga know how to stretch it. Hey, nigga, nigga, come nah, back nigga know how to, they know how to stretch it. Damn. Hey, nigga, hey, nigga come back, back two, on, three days later. About it. Nigga come back two, three days later. Two, three days later, nigga be like, man, where you been? Oh, man, they talking about a state case, man. Talking about some, I had to go child support. Man, I, I hit him with this right here. Stop it. Please yeah. stop it right yeah. now. Stop that bullshit. You know damn well. Now you know damn well the federal government got you, and they ain't took you back for no motherfucking state case. The, the state can wait. Yeah, they the said state. child support. They tried to say child support. Yeah, they took me back to court for child support. <laughs> Man, those people ain't trying to hear that shit. They ain't paying no damn money to transport you from fucking Raybrook, New York, some motherfucking what FCI yeah, Miami, no child support. some motherfucking <laughs> all the way back to. To where North Carolina, Chattanooga, or wherever the fuck you from for no damn child support case, man. Listen, man, I ain't mad at you, bro. Whatever you doing, man, it's your business. I don't give a fuck what you did, man. Get home to your kids and your family if you got some. All that extra shit you ain't got to explain. Nothing to me, brother. Now cook us a bowl of rice. Could you please <laughs> make me a bowl of rice? <laughs> please. Because I <laughs> The whole, the whole word. <laughs> I haven't said a bowl of rice. Cause I ain't that what that what they eating now for New Year. The the the, the solid niggas. The solid niggas, yeah. I'm telling you what they ate for Christmas. And for New Year's. For Christmas, they waited on that bag. They got a little bag, little more. A little mm-hmm. bag about that. It used to be big when I first went in. And guess mm-hmm. what's in it? What's in it? You get a pair of socks. <laughs> <laughs> You get a pair of hot ass tube socks, right? <laughs> from the Salvation Army, right? <laughs> they give you a little pad. You got Salvation Army on it, a little ink pen. That's a little rubber flimsy pen. You got to take and put some paper around it and some rubber bands to make it sturdy where you can write with it. They give you some log candy, Damn. some corn candy, some jelly beans, some baked beans. The motherfucking uh, all kind of little Christmas. Candy. That's what they give you in the Christmas. That's what you got coming in the Christmas. Yeah. Man, you got that coming every year. Man, nigga be happy right. for that shit. Nigga yeah, be happy as a motherfucker. That's a real dog. nigga care package right there. Yeah, real nigga care package. So then they get that and they shoot dice with it. They gamble with that. So some niggas lose their whole shit. Yeah, nigga lose their whole bag one one lick. Man, bet the whole bag. Seven <laughs> eleven. Crap out. <laughs> <laughs> nigga looking crazy. So that's what they have for that. Then, I sold the goddamn roll. I sold the roll the bag, goddamn it. That'll be me right there, goddamn it. Bet right. The bag, goddamn it. That's so what a n- nigga wait all year for the Christmas bag, the real nigga Christmas bag. The and again, nigga. they talk about the Christmas bag right now for next year, for this coming Christmas. They talk yeah. about that right now. What you gonna do with that loud candy for Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> in January, he yeah. be yeah. on him yeah. on December law can't. Yeah, in January. Yeah. yeah. And then they up there, and then they making fun of me. They jonesing on me, the homies and niggas from surrounding areas. They tripping out me because I'm going up there, sitting up there with this motherfucking lady 
with the teeth in her mouth crooked. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> See, her teeth was like side. She had them motherfuckers. They wasn't even straight. Mm-hmm. Right. But, hey. she, but but she made sure shot it was good, you know. And I and I and I love her to this day as a great friend, but I couldn't see myself doing nothing outside of that with her. But uh yeah, that's real, you know, like so how you meet her dating out. He said the dating out on hot mail. Nah, you <laughs> man, no that to talk about no man let me tell y'all, we hit that nigga shot up, man. You gotta work with the nigga, man. My nigga said, send the link to my hotmail. Hotmail. <laughs> but hey, look, Mo, you gotta think. When I left, fucking, my space was just coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That shit you said crazy. it was just coming out. That yeah, shit was just coming out. I didn't even learn how to work it. So we just we just had uh nigga we we got some niggas been dropping some heat around this motherfucker man man I've been listening I've been hearing man I I I heard uh somebody told me my main man King Clown done got fucked back up man I I oh, hate yeah. that what happened with King Clown I don't know man I I don't know the facts to that so I don't know I just heard what happened he with King Clown you don't know Rolling all I know he locked up that's all he I locked know. up damn yeah. I ain't even know yeah right oh, shit. But I've been, I've been, I've been checking out. I've been, I've been listening and supporting as much as I can. Frank White, man, the Shaq, what's his name, Shaq Blizzy. Yeah, you check that Frank White out. What you think about that? Frank White hard. Yeah. Frank White hard. What, what was Frank? What was going on with Frank before you went to jail? Like, did y'all ever work together or anything like that? Uh, uh-uh, uh, we didn't. Frank was with the four bad boy. We was out. I bought a little crib over there in that, uh, in that neighborhood, though. Um. Uh, so we was always had mutual respect. I just was being real controversial. I didn't have nothing against none of them dudes, man. I'm just trying to sell some goddamn CDs. That's all. I had yeah. to do. I got just like right now. You got to do what it takes to sell. You know what I mean? Yeah. To sell whatever you, you know, to move whatever you're trying to move. Um, but now nah, I never, I think I may have had a conversation with him maybe once, but he was a young nigga. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, you know, Frank, I age, man. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, uh what's up with D Block J Mac? I like him too. I like D Block. That nigga J-Mac. Hard as he yeah, he's super like, he probably hey, don't like I don't me. know. I've been waiting on him to drop some shit. You know what he I'm probably saying? Hey D Block J Mac probably don't like me and don't want me to listen to his music because I ain't no stand up nigga. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But I'm still gonna listen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna uh, say this. The other dude, what's the other look? The, what's the other dude y'all had on the show? I've been checking his shit out too. The uh, the little white dude, what's his name? Uh, oh, Dupree. Dupree. Yeah, Dupree. Dupree. I like Dupree. That nigga. And I like hope. the other dude, the other one that uh, signed with Gucci Man with that same. I don't know oh, how, he, man, how he pulled it off. That's all he do. Yeah. All motherfucking day long, and they love it. Bresden, shout out Bres. Yeah, Bres. If you got it, you got it. It is. I mean, yeah. you know, can't nobody take that from you, man. If you got it, you got it. Maul ain't got it. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga. Let me tell you what this nigga did. This nigga. <laughs> nigga I, 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 hey, I'm willing to bet. Listen, I'm willing to bet <sighs> right now. Me. I got more money than Dame Dash. <laughs> this is the whole oh, 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 This nigga done signed a thing with Dame Dash, and somebody said they zoomed in on it, and it was just a little a mutual respect deal or whatever the fuck he got going on. This nigga done got Dame Dash done took our time to come to damn Chattanooga where he ain't make no money. I know he ain't make no money. He ain't make no money coming down on. So they probably uh, gave that nigga about five by five bands or something. Gave who five bands? Dang Dash. Oh, they gave Dang the city, Dash five the city, bands. The city paid for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, they might have gave him five bands. Ain't no five bands, ain't no money. Yeah, I know. A, if you got a life. Yeah. Well, I mean, what the fuck is what could have been mean, 10. I don't know. I'm just I'm just speaking. And, and a nigga of his know. caliber. I'm not now now he got by no means man. by no means and I'm as I'm not saying five bands ain't no money to us. It's yeah. a yeah, damn yeah. that's a lot of money to us, yeah. But to him. That ain't no money. Yeah, that's 500. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, man, that dude, <laughs> that 
That dude, off come the meds. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I ain't never had now on. What the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> oh, this is <laughs> no one. Oh, 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 man. man, I'm crying. Yeah. Yeah, see, nigga don't know. Uh, we got we got some stuff in the works too, man. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna right. spend much on it, but we got some stuff in the works. You know what I'm saying? Do it, do it the right way for real. Like, I'm gonna let you take I, it how far you want to go. I'm gonna just say we got something in the works, and you take it how far you want to take it. Yeah. Nah, we're gonna leave it where it is. Leave them on the edge of their seat, suspense. Yeah, cause it's going down, man. Yeah, suspense. Yeah, man. We're going to give you the real. We're going to give you the truth. From the day one. The truth. Where it all started and how it all started. Well, yeah, man. Uh, young niggas got it popping down through there, man. Uh, what Bigger Mo doing? I ain't heard from Bigger Mo. What Bigger Mo doing? Shit, he moving. He moving and grooving. Okay. Man, he been writing. Biggie Mo been writing, man. We got we got a lot of uh, we got a lot of film shit finna come up in twenty twenty four. Biggie Mo been writing. I'm gonna say this publicly because I told Biggie Mo this privately. If Biggie Mo don't start a blues career and get out of here, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing besides something else other than music. Cause I'm gonna give you the game. Y'all know who King George is. Yeah. Yo. King George out of here. Right. Man, he, he a young dude. What he from Chat? Nah, he from uh Alabama. He from, he from, I think he from Alabama. Yeah, but yeah, right. King George <laughs> doing his thing. You can't yeah, that, tell uh, me Big and Mo can't do what King George doing. He cold. Yeah, yeah, Big and Mo can do Big and Mo can sing his ass Big off. Big and Mo cold. I'm telling you, nigga, man. Big and Mo a good nigga, man. I love. Man, I love Big and Mo, man. I took Big this Mo. nigga to Memphis, man. This nigga set it off in Memphis, man. On on Bill Street, nigga. We set right. it off at BB King Blues, nigga. Shout out Gino Hernandez. He said uh King George about 23. Yeah, Gino, I think Gino was with us. Weren't you with us, Gino? Yeah, Gino was with us in Memphis. Big and Mo was a uh Gino, weren't you with us? He was there. Big and Mo was a good addition, man, to and a good genuine dude, you know what I mean? Like the nigga then like Big and Mo never complained, never like demanded anything, never was like, you know, like like doing too much. You know, like in our time and era. He wasn't, you know, and he had he and Big and Mo already had his time and era way before me and him linked up. Yeah. You know what I mean? This the morning show. Yeah. And so that like I always regrinded I always respected that nigga grind, his hustle, his uh, his passion, and his drive. Like those those are the things that it takes to make it in that game. Like, and that nigga got it. Is just like he just kept missing his window. Everything is based on timing. And he just kept missing his one nigga was on all the damn river bend shows. That nigga was like on the radio. Like he was the first nigga on the the you know the the like you just said the radio show with the little uh, commercial. Hell, I always wanted to do that. You know, so it's like as far as I can remember, Big and Mo was the first dude doing all that shit. And then y'all had Red Collion on that the other day, and, and I was watching, and he was talking about the billboards they had. And and that nigga was right. Like they had, they was the first one had that motherfucking billboard to call a young family. And I didn't know you could do that, dog. Nigga, yeah. I'm riding down Brandon Road. I seen that motherfucker. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. How they do that? Yeah. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, I gotta have me one of them. Oh, his own. Yeah. That, 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 that's <laughs> but see, that's what that's what we call that's what we call at I play football at training shit. We call that iron sharpening iron. Right. It ain't jealousy. It is good. It ain't jealousy. It's envy. It's competition. Absolutely. Right. When, when the competition going up, it, if you, okay, if you run track, right, you're, you're a track runner. You're running a hundred yard dash, the hundred meters. Mm -hmm. If you're running against some fast ass niggas, you're going to run a faster time. You might come in third, but you might run a fast ass time, but you might come in first place against some slow ass niggas. But your time when is fast. You see what I'm saying? 
you gonna right. always get your fastest time, and you are gonna always go harder when you when the competition level is up. This shit made you want one. You know what I'm saying? You like fuck that nigga. Them nigga got a bill for it. Shit, I need me one now. They they spark the idea. That's called iron sharpening iron. Some niggas get scared. Of that. I seen they had the the little uh, freestyle battle thing going on. And some other dudes was like, we gonna start a freestyle battle thing. And they was like, oh, they want to copy off us. I mean, nigga, you ain't start the freestyle shit, nigga. They been doing this shit since the goddamn 70s. You know what I'm saying? So you copying off right. somebody. So you don't even realize he copying off somebody. You know? So but shit, it's, all, it's just all about elevating. Cop- I definitely copied off. Elevating. I definitely copied off cash them with that. Yeah, cop it off cash. No, with that seen that motherfucking billboard up there with all them on that motherfucker with that black on that motherfucker with me too. I, I was like, shit. I was like, boy, them niggas showed out with that nigga. I went straight yeah. to the billboard place. Hey, listen, how do I? I need two of them. Yeah, <laughs> how do I do that? What do I need to do to do that? I mean, mm-hmm. who who need to go in the trunk today? <laughs> <laughs> this is no more a word. <laughs> So, hey, want you the first person with the life size, uh, like the life size poster thing in cash? Was it you? Was it you a big time? From check, nah, I was. Nah, I was the first one. Did I was? Well, I, I think I was. I don't know. I don't know the facts of that, but I think that I was the first one. I know DSA was the first one with the uh, uh, shout out to D Scott, Black, all them guys. Uh, I know they was the first ones with the rap video with the rap vehicle. The, yeah. They had to wrap on the vehicles and they had the logos and cats hanging from like the ceiling and shit like that. But I don't know. I think I don't know, man. D Scott made D Scott was on my ass. I was on his ass one. So um he might have been the first one to do it. I'm not sure. I I, I did it and I put them in all the cats. They had like seven different locations, like two in Memphis, two in Knoxville, one in Chattanooga, and then I don't know if y'all remember back then that cats on Pop Tunes too. They had another store called Pop Tunes. Yeah, I and remember. So that. I put them in all the stores and shit, and I and then I went, I circled back, and they was like, "Man, we keep selling out of CDs, and people really want to be buying them from you." So I had like a, I had them reconstruct and had a little tray put on them. I remember the CDs that. in the tray, so it's like you actually buying the CD off of me mm. in the store. But, Damn. Um, as Universal and all them start talking about some stop selling CDs in the streets, put them in the stores so you can get the sound scan uh uh track with, bar, with the barcode. Yeah, with the barcode. So I had that was kind of hard because hell for real, for real, I was needing that money. And niggas selling 10 CDs a day, shit. That's a motherfucking hundred dollars. I yeah. needed that. You know, all the, all the responsibility that I had on, I'm trying to pay bills at fucking the studio. Water, lights, rent. Now I put a little box in there where nobody put no money in there. More everybody want to come hang out and smoke and drink, but ain't nobody dropping that in that motherfucking box toward them bills. Yeah. So I had that going on. Then I had my fucking rent at my uh my mortgage, my little mortgage I had at my little house, and the renovations going on on that fucking truck note, and fucking just promotion with power name and four and running out to the uh to the cable company paying them to to be on BET, MTV, and VH1. Y'all didn't know you could do that, did you? Yeah, Man, I remember did, that. I did. This I did. is I, the war no, of words. I remember that. Yeah. That so, shit was on that, though. I remember seeing it. Yeah, it was a lot of shit going on with that shit. So all them little CDs that a nigga was selling in the streets. And I had uh pop the comments on the screen, Roland. I got my bad. I had to tell this nigga, man. He act like he smoke weed. Don't even man, is you crazy? Weed. You ain't see me do that. Yeah, put the damn comments up there. Go ahead, man. Hey, man, I don't know yeah. what's wrong with you, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Comments, they're gonna burn my ass up tomorrow. I don't care. Shit, burn you about what? Shit, the, what, the, that, that what the title is, real or fake, 2024. You keeping it real, ain't you? You keeping oh, okay. it real. That's all what, I can what, do, What man. you think that look like, though, 2024? What's what's the new real and what's what's fake? You know what I'm saying? Cause it's, I don't it's know, tricky. man. They it just got, got tricky down. out here, man. The game done changed. This shit tricky now. Hell yeah, that shit tricky. You, everything you motherfucking do, you done snitched on somebody. You a snitch. Oh, motherfucker, see a, motherfucker see a old lady get a motherfucking pocketbook snatch. And the nigga say, man, come here, bring that pocketbook back. Oh, he snitched. Yeah. <laughs> I told him. Them niggas crazy, man. 
They can go on the label me one. If I see you snatch something from an old lady, I'm calling the police on you. And then they get oh, yeah. that. And then them people get a hold of their motherfucking ass. And they got down. Uh, they forget all about uh. Don't talk to me. me. Don't, talk don't talk to me. To me. <laughs> don't talk to me. So what was you gonna say about that rolling? Go, go ahead. Go into the man. You quiet today? What you scared? I shot on here, nigga. Hold on, man. First this of all, nigga normally talking, not asking all types of questions. Man, roll, it won't be scared, man. When sir, hey, nigga, come on. Hey, ask little, the mo. Scare little mo. Scared of mo. Little mo. Hey, are, little mo. You, you had so much to say when we talking on the phone. We I'm scared of what? Got nothing to say. <laughs> Hold hey, on, little mo. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this, and I'm not. And I'm and, and when I say it, I'm not to my own horn, and I'm not. Uh, saying anything different about uh, Roland than I would normally say because I love that little dude, but Roland, I've seen a nigga in full action, man. So yep. Roland ain't scared of me in I no know, type I'm of way. Shit with right. Yeah, yeah shit I know you will. Yeah. Roland, I've seen a motherfucker on, on all of the bullshitters of the bullshit that you could be on in them bricks day by day, day in, day out. Yeah. Yeah, I already know. But hey, let, the question, on, nigga. I got I got to go back to something. Hey, do you remember? Did you ever find out who got your truck when you left the keys in and then you ran in the studio? Yeah, motherfucking two hype brother, uh, Gabriel. Damn. Gabriel stole my damn truck, man, and, and took it to Atlanta and crashed it or whatever. And I just couldn't ever catch his motherfucking ass. Damn. Boy, hey. That nigga hit the lick on shot. He said, fuck it. I'm going to take a check. Hey, that nigga fuck a man's me. Yeah, <laughs> damn. Oh, he the goat. What's his name? What's his name? <laughs> his name was uh, uh, Gabriel. Gabriel. He Gabriel. Came, he came and uh, he came. He he finally came and 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 apologized and shit, man. I'm like, man, I didn't know that was your name. How you not know that was my shit, dog? Man, you know, everybody in the city knew that was your man. Your that nigga took off in my shit. I ran into the little studio for a minute and got trapped up in there listening to a uh, mix. Housewolf was mixing down, and I, you know how. Back then, I had all that loud ass radio shit in my car, and I heard the motherfucker going. You know how you could hear it going away. Yeah, I heard the motherfucker. I'm like, man, I know a nigga ain't playing with me like this. <laughs> nigga got to man, I go out there, my shit going down. Box beat. That nigga box with beat going up the thing. Hey, that nigga <laughs> full hey, man. action. Hey, man. I ain't gonna lie. That's probably. When, when they when you when you when the next time I see you after that, that's probably the saddest I done ever see you. <laughs> and well, I was sick, man. Then they found my shit in the lano. I had the mo I was I had them 20 inch momos on it. And 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 my shit was one rim was cracked and bent all up and shit. So I got it back. So I went down to Troy, R.I.P. Troy. Had the little uh, rim shop on Main Street right there. I went down to Troy. I said, man, listen, I got to order some new wheels, man. He was like, I got that same wheel you got. It just came out in 22s. That's just how old that was. They 22s was just coming out. Damn. I said, man, man order them for my need. Them. Put them on them. He put the 22s on there for me. But, yeah, man, shit, ain't nobody motherfucking in, invincible or, in, or indestructible. Well, niggas will get on your ass. That's why I stay out the way. I'm just an old civilian. I got me some mace, though. Got me some motherfucking mace. You can run up on me with that bullshit if you want. I'm going to pepper spray your motherfucking ass. I got, the, I got that shit shoot 100, 100 feet. So come on with that bullshit. I'm going to pepper spray your ass, and then I'm going to jump on you. So look, man, I got I to gotta ask, man, because I ain't get to get into it last time we did the interview, man. The legendary trunk situation, man. Well, they say, nigga, put a nigga in the trunk, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to go all the way in and go as far as you can go with it, but get as close to it as you can as to what the fuck is the story. What? I was just a little nigga, like, seeing this, they like, man, that nigga put a nigga in the trunk, man. You know, we little nigga, we like, damn, that nigga, that nigga put a nigga in the, you see that shit on the movie, you know? So we like, it's all, we don't know what happened. Though. We don't know the story. Like, what, what went down with shit, man? Which one? This is the war. I had one nigga in the motherfucking <laughs> And I've seen the dudes since I've been home, too, right? See him at the. Uh, I'm at saying the from the high pot, what you seen, the nigga said, we finna put this nigga in the trunk. What the... 
Come on, man. Then that nigga come out the motherfucking out the out the out of well out of the club, the well known establishment. And shit, my motherfucking bills was due at that time. It wasn't nothing personal, it was business. Yeah. My motherfucking my motherfucking bills was due, all of them. Yeah. And I ain't know how and I ain't know how I was gonna pay them. Yeah. You you said all of them. All of them. Yeah. And I seen his motherfucking ass come out of that club. I was, I was in a rental car, I had one of them little Dodge Stratus. Yeah. Seeing that nigga come out that motherfucking club, I was like, oh yeah, it's, it's, it's the night show night. <laughs> <laughs> you know the dude get a dodge strategy. <laughs> hey, you put him in the stretch. God the dang. night is your night, nigga. Get your ass on in this trunk, boy. Damn. Hey, the crazy part about it, the nigga get in the trunk, right? And I wasn't hip to the little latch thing, you know, the little <laughs> trunk latch. Oh, and you can get out the back seat. <laughs> Nah, the nigga can get out the trunk. You pull the little oh, latch. Oh, a latch in there. Yeah, you yeah, pull yeah. the little latch in there, unlock the trunk. Yeah. Nigga got down, taking this nigga, <laughs> taking, grabbed him at the bay. If he watching, he know who he is. Nigga grabbed a nigga at the bay. Going down by the, you know, everything went down in the west side vicinity. Going down over, going down by Power 94, the trunk fly over. <laughs> Damn. If, hey, had him handcuffed. Nigga put the handcuffs on him. Damn. <laughs> The trunk fly up, nigga running, <laughs> nigga running down the street. Ah! Great. Ah! <laughs> so, so, so the mission, so the mission failed. Mission failed. Nigga, they got, nigga got, nigga got what was in, the, what was in his pockets, and that was it. But that wasn't, the, that that wasn't the primary goal. The primary goal was to go with the goddamn home base. Home base. What home yeah. base at? Yeah. On base, that's where it's at. Yeah. Damn. But yo, man, man, and, and and I ain't proud of none of that shit, man. You know, I mean, I laugh and joke about it, man, because it is what it is. But man, uh, I wish I'd have knew the shit that I know now. I wish I'd have knew better so I could have did better. And, um, you know, I wish I'd have been more active in the community in a positive way. And right now, my son going through that shit, dog. My son got down. My son going through the same shit that I went through, and the nigga won't listen. And I wouldn't listen. You see what I'm saying? AD, show dog son, he going through the same shit. And them niggas trying to live in our shadows, you know, and, and they feel like when they tell us some of the shit that they have done, they feel like we, we supposed to salute them and encourage them to keep doing it. And then when I'm like, Man, that's some stupid ass shit you just did, Brian. Stop doing that ignorant, stupid ass shit, dog. You're going to the penitentiary, right? And your ass gonna be stuck. And and then he looking at me like, cause it's a new generation. Them niggas new, man. Like generation after generation, they ain't trying to hear that shit you talking. And he looking at me like, man, you just old, man. You just pops now. You just old, man. You don't, you know, like nigga. I do the shit because I do because of who? Because of you, nigga. Because like that's all I know to do. It's like do what you was doing. No, Brian, don't do what I was doing. His ass going to the motherfucking penitentiary. And, you know, and that's what happened. But, uh... Why do... Why do you... Why you Hold on. How long go ahead. You get? How go long you get? Who, Brian? Yeah. Uh, right now, he's still going through the court process of it, man. You know, uh... Lawyers got some outstanding, got some some way out the roof damn numbers, and I'm trying to figure it out for you know for us him some some uh some represent uh, representation that you know that could help him. He down there in Dalton, Georgia. He grew up in Georgia, so while I was gone, <laughs> his mama moved him to Georgia. You know they pretty much packed up their whole little family, moved to Georgia. So he grew up in Dalton, mm -hmm. was, was pretty damn good at football and uh. Lost his little his little situation and chance with that, you know. Still acting out and taking tasers, taser guns, and all this shit to school. So they they expelled him, so he didn't get to finish his education, or you know, to see what them people could push him to for his football purposes. Um, so now, man, he when I came out, I came out in oh nine. I mean, I came out in uh, nineteen, and Brian went in in nineteen. He did like. I, the same I got out April the 1st 2019 Brian went in that Thursday so that would have been like the third or the fourth and uh, he stayed in like three years so I still didn't get to spend much time with him 
and then he got back out and we was you know all on live doing our thing kicking it trying to you know rebuild rebond get to know because i don't know him i don't know yeah. him he don't know me you yeah. know what i'm saying and uh we was trying to do that right there and then he get locked back up and now he facing the violation for what he was in now uh, for the first three years mm. and the new charges that he have uh, got so yeah he and I dealing with that shit right there and I'm he dealing with it in there and I'm dealing with it out here and it you know and it all goes back to what we were saying in the beginning of the conversation like niggas is choosing niggas in the streets they don't give a fuck about you over <laughs> your family your kids your wife your fucking daughter your mama your auntie your you know your job your career like this shit is stupid I know people don't like to uh, give us your two biggest regrets out of like leaving your son like that. What would you say your two biggest regrets would be? Not definitely not being now, you know, because I always wanted a kid. I ain't have a kid. Till I was 29 years old. Like I ain't got a whole bunch of motherfucking kids. A lot of my partners got some eight, nine, ten kids. I just got one. And I always, you know, because I ain't know my dad. You know what I mean? Uh, I never even met the dude. So I always prided myself in. I said, if I ever have a motherfucking kid, I'm going to be there for my kid. Like, everything that I'm doing is going to be for my kid. That's that's going to be my next generation. That's going to be my, you know, my everything. Whether it's a boy or a girl, I don't, you know, it don't matter. Uh, and I end up having a boy with, you know, with Mitzi. So, um... I definitely got to say not being able to be there for him to uh, give him the guidance and the game that he needed and um, like, you know, letting all the people down that was counting on me. Those are my biggest, my biggest regrets, man. That, 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 that shit broke me down more than anything in uh, like sending that motherfucker knowing not knowing if I'm going to do 20 years or fucking 18 years, you know, uh, just sending that motherfucker day in, day out, doing the same shit, nothing different, the same. And you calling home, and you, maybe you could talk to your kid. Maybe you you can't. I I went two, three months at a time without even talking to him. I went nine years without seeing him, Damn. you know, because when nobody bring him to see me, you know what I mean. So, and I don't fault nobody that didn't get in the car and pack him up and bring him because it was my fault that I was in there. So, you know. You got to take all that in consideration. You got to be like, well, shit. You know, that's how I always looked at it. Like, well, shit, they ain't my, it ain't they fault I'm in here. It's my fault I'm in here. Hell, I made the choices that I made and got fucked up and got taken away from him. So I can't be mad at nobody but my damn self. But those are my regrets, man. Not being here for my boy to, uh, to prepare him for what was to come and, to leave the people that counted on me the most, meaning my fucking mama, my aunt, uh, Angie, Lanelle, Shodal, uh, hell, Big Vinny, you know, um, Maul, you know what I mean, Peter Wayne, uh, Mookie Matt, you know, all them guys, man, uh, uh, old school Mr. Natty, House Wolf, Hollywood, Squ all them niggas was, you know, like, was depending on what was going not depending on me personally, but was depending on what was about to happen with what was going on. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And with me being taken away, they couldn't, can't nobody substitute that. You see what I'm saying? Cause they, you know, that hell, they ain't know what to fucking do. Maul did his best though. I give all the credit to Maul for trying as hard as he was. It was just some, just all that old weird ass girl ass gay ass shit that he was doing that, made me don't like him and then he pulled that motherfucking shit with my mama and my aunt down there and I hate his ass. Now, now I hate him. Hey. You know, but uh, those was my biggest regrets, man. Leaving my motherfucking son, uh, chocolate tie. You know, man, nigga had so many artists. Biggie Mo, uh, Shitty Shop. You know what I mean? I really can't want to see. I, I think Sean Gotti, huh? If I, if, oh yeah, yeah, Sean Gotti. If you, if I could, if I could rewind the man, I honestly would have liked it to see it go a different way, bro. When you got out, I would have liked it to see you and Ma working together. You know what I'm saying? 
I just yeah. just like, what would they have to look like? You know what I'm saying? Like, what what the outcome would have been versus y'all going the fuck you route? You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, too selfish, man. He too selfish, and he want to be like what, y'all got he want to be shit. what he ain't. Like, my my want to be my old nigga. You ain't made it, nigga. You work in a factory. Except the fact that you work in a fucking factory, dude. You ain't fucking nobody. You ain't him, nigga. I'm him. You ain't him. You know what I mean? So. We could have, I mean, we, I thought that it was going, I thought that when we did that interview with you that night, I thought that everything was going, you know, fall back in, in place. Yeah. I kind of mean, too. that was the goal. <laughs> yeah. I thought everything was going to fall back in place. I left there feeling good. Even after, uh, Jamaica came, I don't know where the fuck he came from and what, what, what Ma thought that he was going to do, but I don't, I, you know, I don't know, and I ain't in, in no no way am I disrespecting Jamaica, but I don't know what the fuck you call him up there for, because I'm going to say what the hell I want to say. I don't give a fuck who in there. I don't care who in there. I'm going to say what I need to say, how I feel, and we can go from there. But he called Jamaica up there, and, you know, and it got heated a little bit. We said what we said. I said what I said, and, you know, and, and that shit died down. And so when we left there, you know, me and Ma had a, a, a little sidebar conversation talking about the little liquor that me and that ex of mine was, was trying to do or whatever. And I gave I told, I ain't going to say I gave him the game, but I told him what, what had been done on her behalf because that was her shit. It wasn't mine. The party buses was her shit. That wasn't mine. BMA's transportation is mine. QB Connection was hers. So uh, just to make that shit clear, but I told him, I gave him, you know, the little blueprint to what I had got. And I, I thought we left on good standards. Then the next thing I know, you know, here come some motherfucking paperwork and some shit Peter Wang saying and all this old weird ass shit. And I was like, oh yeah, they got the right one. Let's do it. <laughs> you want to jump out there? Let's jump. <laughs> Motherfucker, yeah. fuck you. So, uh, hey. I don't know, man. At this so point, I ain't... Play over with. Huh? They play over with. Yeah, they play. I mean, I mean, what can we? We both damn near. He damn near. I'm already fifty, and he damn near fifty. So what can we do from this point besides drive a motherfucker around? Yeah, I mean, with me and RJ, I've been arguing about that shit. We've been arguing right. about that because we was on some shit like uh, well, I was, I was saying we ain't never, we we never got to see what it looked like for a nigga to be fifty years old and rap. You know what I'm saying? Because hip hop ain't nothing but fifty. You know right. what I'm saying? So you ever seen the movie Paid in Full? I have. Okay, it's a scene in that movie where Ace was working at the laundromat and the old dude who owned the laundromat came in there. Ace was playing the hip-hop shit. Mm-hmm. And the old man was like, man, turn that boobity bop shit off. I don't want to hear that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't want to hear it. It ain't for his ears. You know what I'm saying? Right. Ace was on some shit like this for my ears. <clears throat> Ace was uh, 18, 17, 16 years old at the time. Ace 50 now. Ace right. still listening to hip hop. What I'm saying is, I really feel like it's a million niggas that 50 out there, bro, that'll listen to another 50 year old. It didn't used to be that them numbers were there at first. Right, right. Them numbers weren't there when, think about when hip hop come out in the in the eight, early 80s. It wasn't a million niggas that was 50 that was feeling hip hop. Right. Now, the numbers done shifted. It's a million niggas out there that listen fit that's 50 years old that listen to hip hop, bro. And I'm just saying a million because you don't out of that million, you don't need nothing but but a thousand people. Hey man, damn yeah. right, that's all you need. So now, you tell you me, a little more. You telling now, me a nigga 50 can't hustle up on a thousand fans? No, you need a, the way that market is now, a little more. You need a little more than that though. Thousand niggas, them damn streams is a motherfucker, boy. I'm talking about what uh, not the streams. I'm talking about I'm talking about with your merch, as far as like your merch, as far as like your product, mm. people lock in with what you got going on and, and support it. You know what I'm saying? On a regular basis. Well, I'm finna, <laughs> what I'm finna what what I'm finna put this out here now. Hold up, little rolling. I'm gonna let you I'm finna put this out here now. I got them your ass shirts coming. So if yeah, <laughs> if a motherfucker put them ass shirts out, I'm suing you. I don't give a fuck how much money it takes. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna garnish your chick for the tell you no. So I'm gonna say yes. The shirts is gonna say yes, right? Mm-hmm. And if you try to put them shirts out before I do, I'm gonna garnish your fucking chick at Volkswagen or at the Seaboard <laughs> or at uh at, at, at Red Robins 
Uh, wherever the fuck you working at, I'm going to see your motherfucking chick if you put that out. So I'm claiming it today. Yes. <laughs> you right. need to get that boom I win, nigga. Yellow Rolling told me that. We talked about that the other day. Yeah. That, that, that boom I win, legendary. Oh, man. Honey. I got let honey me, over here. Let me say this, man. Well, if you, <laughs> he's stupid. Little Mo. Yeah. I got honey over here. Oh, honey. <laughs> oh, hey man! If you if you hey, need you out here, you out here, you 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 out here. <laughs> man, you ain't got that log. You ain't eating that log. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's up? What the fuck is a log? What? Ho ho ho! That don't sound right, the right bag, there. You, the shit in the bag you was talking about, nigga. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> log, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, you know I, what I'm talking about? The little log candy. You remember the little yeah. log candy with the little lines I know what you're on? Talking about. Yeah. yeah. Man, he rolls. <laughs> All right, Roller, what you say, Roller? Hey, man, if you niggas ain't got no fans, don't listen a little more. The, the Poonie Moon let them gas you up. Y'all niggas can't rap. You niggas, you niggas ain't got nobody checking for you. You 50 years old and want to start a rap career. So Stop. this is okay. This is what I'm saying. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna show you how unrealistic what you're saying is. I'm gonna just break this down to you. Hold on. And, hold on, hold on. You let me to tell me. Let me finish. Okay, this math now, this mathematics, this math. You mean to tell me it ain't a million niggas that's fifty? That's 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 a yes answer right there. Yes, nigga, it's a million niggas that's fifty. Woo! That Shout sick. out to Geno. Shout out to Geno Biski Love, Seafood King Gene. So look, it's a million niggas that's fifty, right? It's a million niggas that's fifty. That's that's a definite. That's a, that's mathematically correct. Mm -hmm. It ain't never been no black president. We don't. This nigga just became a black president. You mean the nigga can become the first black president? But a nigga fifty can't make some shit that niggas fifty want to hear. Let the me. King let George, the King George nigga just did blues, and he ain't number twenty three. Mm -hmm. Let me. Let so me. How you gonna tell me a nigga? First of all, what I'm what I'm getting there, shouty. The hip hop game is the only game that's so ran backwards is fucked up, bro. We the only dumbass niggas that let some niggas 16 and 17 years old di dictate what the fuck we gonna do as a culture. We listening to some niggas 16 tell us what the fuck to do. And no other journal is really like that. Rock and roll, none of that shit. Nigga, let them folks play Sweet Caroline, nigga, hey. at the motherfucking football game. It's nigga, going down. Nigga, goddamn, they finna rule. The, the, them old niggas in rock. Them old niggas in blues, them old niggas in jazz, them old niggas in country music. No no young niggas run none of that shit. Them niggas do their thing, but the older niggas run that shit. Right. It been yeah. like that. We the only dumbass niggas that allow some 16 year olds to goddamn dictate what the fuck we gonna do with our life. And that's why we fucked up, bro. I'm just putting it out there. Hold that's on. That's why we fucked up. So oh. we do keep listening to you, Rolling. If we don't do what the fuck I'm trying to tell niggas need to do, we gonna stay fucked up. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Hold on, listen, listen at what I'm saying. If a nigga ain't got no fans, none, he fit the years. You can, you can get him. You can get him. You can get. You can get a million fans tomorrow, bro. I let you finish. You can go viral tomorrow, bro, and get a million. Then I let you finish. Then I let you finish. Go ahead, man. I'm, I'm talking for the niggas who've been rapping twenty years. These niggas been rapping. These niggas come out in 50. These niggas talking my stuff. Oh, nigga, I'm going to up the pistol. Nigga, you 50 years old and you talking about upping the pistol. Ain't right. no, you got to change your content. I mean, you got to take it out. That's what that's these niggas man. doing. Man, I got the Draco. Nigga, you I said it can't be done, though. No, it, no you, I'm telling you. Work. That, 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 that way ain't going to work. But it's a way you it can do, be done. Or you I'm just saying. Do if a nigga. Like it can't be done. You the, you just won't even shoot the ball. You just like you ain't, hey, you you ain't listening. listening. You ain't listening. You go make a song, bro, and try. If Don't a nigga it. ain't got no fans and a nigga ain't checking for you, that means you garbage. Give it up. Uh, Give it up the way. You niggas accept this trash and niggas say, man, I can make it. That you the reason he old niggas be on walkers talking about a hip. A hop, a hip, a hip, a hip, Ain't nobody trying to hey, hit it. I'm gonna jump. tell you, my motto for 2024 is take the shot, man. Take the shot. Gotta you take can't the make shot. it if you don't shoot it. 
You can't make you not going the, the answer is no if you don't shoot the ball. You got to shoot the ball. Listen, they shot the ball. They've been shooting bricks. Nobody want to hear it. Keep shooting. Right. Man, you got to take that muffin. be broke. You got you you right though, little mo. You got to take that shot. I took you so many motherfucking shots. Shot. You know how many no's I got before I got a fucking yes? Like, nigga, we went to we went to Universal twice. We went one time or uh, Ed Owens orchestrated some shit that we didn't even know that he had orchestrated. I didn't even know the man. I knew Fitzgerald, knew that, you know, his son. Didn't even know the man. The man orchestrated a play for us to go to Universal. We get up that motherfucker. We got the Collions up there. You got uh, Jimmy Allgood was there. Uh, so this man done, done, done pretty much like try to do a talent search of Chattanooga and pitch his play to Universal's a and a dude named Dino DeValle. So mm-hmm. he had done pitched to play the dude. And them motherfuckers reached out to me, dog. I'm thinking that. I don't know how they got my, well, they got my number from him. Now I know. I mean, I knew not long after that, but I was like, oh, shit, Universal. So I got all I got all the players. Everybody everybody that was that was part of what, the movement got them all that shit. Yo, we got to go to Universal. God damn it. They just reached out to me. Nigga, we get to Universal. Got Cash Collion up there. Slick Collion. I think Red was up there. I'm not sure. Red Collion. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure about Red, but I know Cash, Slick, Jimmy, all good. Uh, we all up there. Motherfucker. I was like, what y'all doing up here? Damn. Uh, <laughs> so y'all didn't even know each other was going to be there? No, because cause Ed Owens had done orchestrated the play. He trying to get, I guess he was trying to get like a signing bonus or something. I don't know. You know what I mean? So we get up that motherfucker and... Uh, and then that then nothing shake. It didn't shake. It didn't it didn't go how we thought it was gonna go. <laughs> it didn't go <laughs> how you think it was gonna go. Yeah, it didn't That's go how we in the words a little more. It didn't go how you think it was gonna go, right? So mm-hmm. we the, the it didn't work out for us, you know what I mean? So we had to back to the drawing board. So then we uh come back, regroup. So now I got a relationship with them. I got a relationship with Pastor Troy, I got a relationship with Mr. Cheeks. Uh had a relationship with baby, uh, bird man, got a, you know, got a couple different relationships, eight ball, MJG, uh, uh, gangsta boo, little chat had a couple, you know, had a couple different relationships now. So now when I'm going back, I got some motherfuckers that, uh, that, you know, that's fucking with a nigga. Uh, what's his name? Archie, Archie Elvisaw. So I had, yeah, you know, Archie. yeah. So I had a couple of relationships at this time. So now I go back, we get up to this motherfucker. And House Wolf ass hadn't registered each and every CD with the sound scan. So when I go in there, I'm telling them, "Oh shit, we about twenty, we about twenty thousand sold." And and I wasn't lying. We had sold about twenty thousand, you know, just in our surrounding area. And mm-hmm. it, but but the numbers weren't reflecting that on the sound scan. Yeah, that's what did it. Yeah, you know. So now back to the drawing boards again. Nigga, I cried all the way back to the crew. I was sick because nigga working so hard, doing all type of bullshit, trying to just trying to make it, man. And I probably would have went back and apologized to everybody that I fucking pretty much forced to contribute, and you know. But it didn't work out, man. And then here come the federal government, and it was really over. Hey, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Puna Moon. Hey, is that why y'all start making them trying to make them dance music song? Cause at first, at first it failed. It was hardcore thugging, thugging. Then y'all start making all this dance. Man, I said, man, hold on, what the hell going on, man? Yeah, because I was trying to make a radio hit. Y'all were trying to make a radio hit, probably. Yeah, I was trying to make a radio hit because Power 94 wasn't fucking with us. They was like, that shit too hard. Like, look, rolling. So listen, I was talking to somebody about this the other day. Do you remember? When Lil Mo might not remember this, but Lil, Lil Roland should remember this because he was from the West Side and everything that we pretty much did was, you know, we was already downtown. So all the shit was going on at the stadium or the uh, River Bend or some shit like that. So we yeah. had a show at the River Bend. That's when we was doing what they doing. Right. Okay. And the dude named Bo uh, called us to be on the show. He didn't pay us no money and then he just said, hey, yo, y'all want a slot? Y'all can get a slot. Y'all got five minutes or whatever. So we go, and Destiny Child was on the, the uh, show. Hmm. You know, before they became who they are today. They was little ass girls. So 
So we go down uh, to the motherfucking show and we did the what they doing and the nigga they, and they kept cl- sh- stopping the music. Mm. Cause you know what they doing was a pretty aggressive song, right? Yeah. So they they kept stopping the music. And, he, and the nigga told me before I went up there, he was like, "Man, you go up there, man. You doing it any cussing?" He's, he said it's a kid family friendly, kid and family friendly event. Y'all playing what they doing? <laughs> yeah, you get up there with that bullshit. But I mean, what else? We didn't know nothing else to do. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> That's so the best up, song. Up, that's up. the that's the clean the song got all of. Hold right. on, hold on. They tell y'all y'all got a kid show and y'all get up there. What we doing? What they doing? Yeah. Nigga? What they doing? Huh? Yeah. What they doing, nigga? What they doing? <laughs> 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 Ask mom. Ask mom. About it. So we get up there and we do that. They shut the damn show down, right? The niggas, the nigga tell us, man, get out the premises. We told you before you got up there. Whoa. Well, hey. So now we. So now here come wood. Here come Hollywood. Nigga, nigga, I beat your motherfucking ass. Boy ass nigga. Boy ass nigga. So here come Hollywood now. Now Hollywood mad because we wrong. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So uh so at, at that point, I was like, man, we gotta clean some of this music up because we can't ain't none of our shit can play on the radio. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So I started, you know, trying to do more like melodic type you know music with a melody to it and not so hard like not so you know like that that anybody can listen to them like oh that's all right right there other than niggas that look like us so the west side niggas started auto tunes there you go he always hate no auto no 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 i always hate no auto he just said it melodic Hold on, what no auto tune? What no damn auto tune? What no auto tune? Don't do that. Hey, little mo, hey, little mo, that shit been so that that shit been so long ago. When I when I when I left to go to jail, Pro Tools was just coming out. Damn. Well, what no auto tune? <laughs> well, he, he was on to it. If, I was if just, it had have been that, he would have tried it. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out. Yeah. He admitted it. He admitted it. He told me. I admitted it. Yeah. I was trying to figure out. I was trying to figure out how I was gonna how I was gonna be able to find who what nigga was gonna find the pro tool. That's it. That's it. Man, nobody don't no damn auto tune, man. I ain't finna let you do that, man. Auto tune, man. Mr. Very Pimpish. That nigga rolling name rap name was Mr. Very Pimpish. And I stand on that. Hey, man. Rolling them was some bad motherfuckers, though. Hey, man. Now, yes. Rolling be going out. I told him he need to drop, just drop yes. one, man. man. Drop man. some. He's got any goofy niggas, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. Then your, grand, your grandson might hear it when you old, man. He look hey, back and be like, damn, granddad, was going off. No, man. man you always got to be about trying to blow up, bro. Just, it's your art. We need to do so, one more, Rolling. Me and you yeah, and Biggie Mo. Leave that shit for your, for your kids, the grandkids. Rolling, let's do, let's do one more, Rolling. Five songs, me, you, and Bigger Mo. Let's do it. Ooh. Let's do it, man. Ooh. I still got a limit now. Let's oh, do no, it. I got it. Shout out to you, got you got know, you were out of tune. Shout out to you, out of tune. Shout out to you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Computer, computer, no. I am no. What they doing? What they doing? What they doing? <laughs> hey, so Roland, so do this for me, man. Let them. Could you please let the people know, man, what happened with the Pastor Troy situation, man? How me and this man came? Cause I, cause I mean. I mean, you done already told them, man. I don't know what more they want you to tell them. You told them. Look, man, you's in the hood doing your thing. Shout out if I could, if you could correct me if I'm wrong. We, we, and some some uh people from the neighborhood bust up on you. They said, uh, they said Pastor Troy was looking for you because you had everybody flooded out with the what they doing shirt. Right, and that's how you went. If I'm tell me I'm wrong, you you said, man, that man ain't. Li-. Then you said some more people bust up on you. Then you went to the radio station. He was coming out, and that's how y'all linked up. Right. Yeah. So I t- I told a couple people that, and they were like, man, that man ain't reached out to you, man. That man, I said, man, listen, man, I was just doing me, bro. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to get his attention. I wasn't trying to do nothing with him. And then the nigga started acting like a, as the D.C. nigga say, a Bama. Nigga started <laughs> acting like a cold-blooded Bama, man. Man, yeah, all I'm trying to do is all I'm trying to do is get a little push in his market. Like, man, help me get in your market, nigga. You just signed a new deal 
for a motherfucking um soundtrack on a movie, Triple X. Yeah, when, when he had that all we cut. Yeah, mm-hmm. all we cut. I'm like, bro, I, man, what can I do? Man, nigga, you know what you can do. Nigga, the nigga had us to come. I just thought about him yesterday bringing in the new year. Cause I went back then, the nigga hit me up and said, uh, hey fam, what y'all got going on for the new year? He had just bought the club, the uh the viper and turned it into the bounce or the bounce and turned it into the viper, whichever way it was. So he called us and invited us down. Me, Mr. Natty. I want to say it was Shitty Shop. I know it was Sean got it, House Wolf. We all jumped in the van. We had the fam van back then. We jump in the van. We go to Atlanta. We get down there. This nigga won't answer the phone. Damn. So we got to go down to Atlanta. That was the first year that the Peach dropped. We had to go watch the Peach drop. So we go watch the Peach drop. So that was the first time he was on some bullshit. So then the second, so then he got the word every time he come to Chattanooga, he'll hit me up. And like, hey, 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 fam, uh, get me a room, man. Give me a room and something to smoke, man. So I go to the Reed house. You know, the Reed house was the like the shit at that time. Mm-hmm. Go to the Reed house, get the nigga a room, leave him a, a, a zip of that. What we what was mid then is, you know, is it, gas now. Mm-hmm. Leave him a zip of mid in there. And the nigga get, you know, get that or whatever, whatever he was coming out for, be at the bay or whatever the establishment was at that time. I meet him down there. We'll do our thing, hang out, kick it. Then he'll be, when, as soon as he leave, he back on some funny shit. But then when he coming back to Chattanooga, he hit me up because he know he got to see me, right? So then I just I just got to the point to where I just started being hard on him, like just being on some bullshit with him, right? <laughs> um, but I'll tell a motherfucker that story, and they be like, man, that man ain't reached out to you. I was like, man, that's how it happened, bro. I ain't running around kissing that nigga. I'm going I'm to I'm tell you, I'm going to be honest. And I already been tried and convicted, so I can't convict myself any more than I already have. I was in a project selling crack, weed. And whatever else that it was to be goddamn sold and would lay a nigga down when he come get it if you weren't supposed to be out there. On some yeah. bullshit. I know I was. I'm sorry to all that I did it to, but that's what it was. They came bothering me about him. I wasn't bothering them about him. Because a lot of people don't remember. If you don't remember, if you was in that time, you couldn't go nowhere without seeing what they doing or something pertaining it's to the man. Everywhere. everywhere. Right. Right. So if you go, if uh, you, you can imagine an artist like Pastor Truck coming to the concert and he said, man, what? Oh, it's everywhere. You can't what deny it. Yeah. It's everywhere. It was. Yeah. So well, Pastor Truck, man, he been a monkey type dude, man. I, I met Pastor Truck when he first came down here, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he could rap, but he just, he just was a weird type. He was a weird individual <laughs> from my mm-hmm. encounter. And then come to find out where I was still from, I don't know exactly who the source was that was in his ear, but they was just telling him, like, that, you know, you need to watch them dudes, them dudes really living like how they, you know, you know they, they doing that shit for real. So you need to watch them dudes, you know, you might find yourself in this type of situation or that type of situation. And you're drunk. Right. And so they came out, that, that eventually came out, and I was like, now it makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, bro, but I wasn't, I ain't, I'm not on there with you, bro. I'm trying to get in the game. I ain't got to do that no more. That's what I'm trying to do. I ain't got to do it no more. But he was real reluctant, man. That nigga was real reluctant to fuck with me. Hey, look, hey, Poon the Moon, I bet you'll remember this. Man, did y'all did, did y'all dish pass the truck? Yeah. I did hear that. I I remember that. Well, uh, uh-huh, nigga. It's on yeah. Apple Music, Spotify, yeah. Tom. Uh huh. Cause yeah, you know, that was his favorite that. thing. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, uh, last time I seen Troy, we was at the. I talked to him since I've been home. But the last time I seen him, we was at the. Uh, I want to say it was the Bay. And he was in the back room, and he, you know, you could just feel the tension and the, the distance. And it, how y'all know, conversation go? Well, he said the security, he had his nigga named Big Mike. He had, I had a security, fam security, Big Mike, Michael Turner, y'all should all know him. And he had I'm a security. Your phone call, the phone conversation. You said you talked to him since you've been home. Oh, oh, I talked to him, I talked to him via Cuba Salini. Shout out to Cuba Salini. Oh, okay. Cuba. Uh, yo, Cuba called him for me when I came home. I met Cuba at a Walmart parking lot of summer. I was passing through going to Atlanta. 
and met him. Cuba always been my dude, man. I always uh, he always been supportive. I always been supportive of him. Got numerous tracks from him. He 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 uh, produced a lot of stuff that we did, and um, Cuba stayed in my house a couple of times. You know, I stayed in his. You know, he funded made it where I had somewhere to stay a couple of times. So that's always been my guy. I always fuck with Cuba. Met him through Sam Bino, uh, Vinny the Shark, and all them. But he called Troy uh, when we met up, and he got on the phone, you know, like, man, what's up? You home? I was like, yo, man, I'm home, man. It's been a long ride, man. I had to go, had to do some bullshit, but I'm here. Mm-hmm. And he said he was going to hit me up, got my number and shit, but I ain't heard from Troy this day, and that was probably like my first year home. So I'm coming up on five years now. Yeah. And, um, Ain't no hard feelings though, man. It is what it is. Nigga got a guy to make his own way. You know what I mean? You can't be counting on a nigga to make your way for you. Yeah, old Troy. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, we did a song. It's called Uh Huh. It's on all. Uh, it's on all platforms. So, cause I was like, I uh, I didn't know y'all did it until I che- I just recently heard the song. And I was like, hold up, man. I was like, hey, they done, they done dispatched the truck. Mufasa the guy said drop that shit rolling. Hey, man. Drop what? Drop hey, some man, music. Listen, let me, let me, drop let me ass, say something. Nigga. Let me drop say something. To, let me say something. Mu, the Mu, what, how you say his name? Mufasa. Mufasa the guy. Mufasa. Nigga. I'm going to come back down. I need one of the motherfucking plates. I'm talking about for real. And I want fish on it or turkey. I'm back eating turkey now. Turkey, y'all there. Oh, but hey, man, I want one of them plays, move fast. I'll be seeing them. Uh, I'll be, I be checking you out. I see you be tapping in. I appreciate that. And I'm going to come through and support your business, bro. Let, let me read this coming. He said, it ain't about the age. It's, it's about the lyrics. If it ain't true, what they rapping about. He said, man, shout it. It was my sh- I wasn't fam, but check my background. I'm him for real. I, I step by myself. I'm like that. It's all, he said, it's love to y'all. Mufasa the God. That's my boy. Mufasa man. the God. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. only to me, but Lil Mo and Roland. Me and Lil Roland. Me, hey, me, Lil Mo, and Lil Roland, we on some bullshit. So y'all ass better be ready. All y'all the way ass better be ready. It's kind of ready. And guess what? I'm ready for all the backlash. I'm ready it's for all the little, I'm ready for all the little rat emojis. I'm ready for all that. Yeah, it's better when you come when you come goddamn barking up my tree, your motherfucking ass better know what you're talking about, or your ass gonna be looking crazy. This is the, the war. war. Oh, oh words. Don't, oh. don't get put in the trick bag. That's how we go. Get put in the trick bag. Please don't. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh-huh. Go check it out. Apple Music. YouTube <laughs> Music. Spotify. Oh, that's all I'm going to give you. You, you got to go get it. It's called Uh-huh. That, and that's the, the Pastor Troy. Troy. that's the Pastor Troy dish, right? Right. Yeah, y'all go right, check right. that out. Uh-huh. On uh, Apple, you said Apple Music. Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube Music, all major platforms. Well, it is epic, man, because we get to jump to y'all with an epic-ass Chattanooga legend nigga. You know what I'm saying? Shout it. Shout it. Thank man, you. I appreciate and Man, I always appreciate y'all, man. It's, it's, you know, and I know it's likewise. Like, I off the record, on the record, we always cutting up, shooting the shit. We got, about, yeah. we got OG uh, Wild Out coming. OG Wild Out, that's my dog, man. I yeah, fuck we got with that. OG Wild Out coming. OG Wild Out. I'm gonna say this about OG Wild Out. OG Wild Out, man. Um, that nigga played a great part in my son's life, man. And I really, 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 really appreciate that nigga for that, man. Salute uh, to OG Wild Out. Yeah, nigga was never disrespectful, man. Nigga never didn't judge me. Nigga, you know, nigga, nigga knew me for who I was and for my heart. And the nigga know that 
that I'm, I'm a good nigga with good intentions, man. I just got fucked up. And a nigga had to, you know, nigga had to do what he had to do. But um, the nigga was there for my look, my look, my son loved that nigga, baby mama loved that nigga, uh daughter destiny, uh love that nigga. So uh Temple, you know what I mean? They love everybody love a little wild out, man. And mainly from my perspective, from my family, they love that nigga. I appreciate him for everything he did. Nigga came through for me a couple times, couple dollars here, a couple dollars there. I appreciate that. Um, good little dude, man. And I just wish, and, and he another nigga that I apologize to, man, because I let him down. You know what I mean? So uh, he had the big, that nigga had the biggest record to come up out that motherfucker. And 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 when I heard it, he didn't record it at my studio. I don't think, I asked Housewolf about that the other day. I don't think he recorded it wild out at my studio i think he did it at block i'm not sure I don't, i'm not sure about that but we we'll, uh, we'll make sure we ask him yeah but when i first heard that motherfucker we had a show down at uh uh at the pavilion remember pavilion rolling we had a show yeah I was, I was at that show that's the first time yeah. the, the city as a whole heard a wild out right he had a little cast on his foot and that's why he said i you know i ain't gonna run because i can't walk or whatever yeah. he said in the in the lyrics, he had a cast on his foot. And he came, he was like, man, shout out, man. Like, uh, man, let me get on, man. These niggas hating on me. These niggas won't fuck with me. I said, shit, my nigga, you can go next. Matter of fact, you go last. We gonna go, and then you go. How about mm -hmm. that? So we went on, and we did our little thing. And he came on and did wide out. The motherfuckers went crazy. They forgot all about us. Yeah. <laughs> and went nuts. You know what I mean? And it, and it was up from there. So... Shout out to Wild Out Man. Um, oh, Terrell Bush. <laughs> and the Bush family. Shout out to all y'all, man. Uh, Lil Real Man, Sorry Man, I let you down, bro. Uh, Peter Wayne, Sorry I let you down, man. Mild Pimp, Sorry I let you down. All you guys, man. Shitty Shop, Sorry I let you down. R.I.P. Little Lil Natty. Uh, the Young Ballers. All you niggas, man, I let down. Sherry, all y'all motherfuckers, I let down, man. I'm sorry, man. Hey, this all of me. What it is? This all of me. Like that sometimes. You know what I mean? Hey, that, that's the strongest thing you can do is uh, give an apology. You know, what right? I, mean? I bet. <laughs> so but yeah, bad. man, but we ain't gonna know. We know you got shit to do, bro. We appreciate you tapping in with us on this first, man. We we wanted to get the ball rolling big this year, man. So uh, yeah, absolutely. We yeah, don't do it, man. That being said, man, you, know, you got anything you want to push that you want to uh, let them know to go check it, check out or whatever? Nah, man, I'm I'm on our platform, man. Now nah, you can come up here and drive one of these motherfucking cars. Anybody need a job? <laughs> Anybody want to drive go. a car? You got you you got Vinny in chat and you got me in Nashville. Pick your pick your poison. Whichever yeah. one you want to drive for, we hiring today. Yeah. Found so life. You, there you go. Ain't no excuse. So you ain't got to sell no dope, man. Ain't no nah, I ain't selling. I ain't say you selling some dope. Nah, you better nah. stay. The, you better stay the fuck away from me if you selling some dope. Cause if your nah, ass I'm... get caught, <laughs> if your ass get caught, that's your. You don't take your charge. Yeah, that's your ass. Nah, I, the reason I said that because a lot of dudes want to use that excuse. <laughs> hey man, I ain't. I don't. That's all I know. That's all I know. You hate that, don't you? Rolling hate when they say that's all I know. Now you know that's what you wanted to do. Yeah. Hey, hey, listen, before we go, that. I gotta that's say this I right know. here, right? Before we go, I gotta say this. So I got an individual in my life, right? From Kentucky. Don't pretty much convince me to buy a house in Kentucky and move to Kentucky, right? Mm -hmm. But it's cheap over there. So it wasn't all her convincing. It was more or less like the numbers made sense, right? Yeah. So I'm in mean, this motherfucker rocking out on the hot boys to bring the new year in, right? Hmm. Block is hot. The block is hot, hot, hot. Yeah. Man, you know, this woman told me she 41 years old. I'm 51. This woman told me that she ain't heard of the hot boys. Damn. So I'm like, huh? you gotta be up. You, you had to been up under a rock. Have yep. you been up under a rock? What rock have you been up under? The hot boys? Yeah, that's crazy. She said she ain't, but she heard of Lil Wayne. She know who Lil Wayne is, though. You know so who Lil know Wayne is. Listen, she know who she didn't know BG. That's where the conversation started, I think, from BG. She don't know who BG is. She now nah, Turk. She didn't know who Turk was. 
So I'm trying to give her the history of Turk. And I'm saying the hot boys. So I go on YouTube, put the hot boys on it. So she know the songs, but Just don't know the group. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, man, how the hell? What the fuck did you stay at in Kentucky that you ain't heard of the damn hot boys? Like, so yeah. do you know Lil Wayne? Yeah, I know Lil Wayne. Yeah. Do you know uh BG? I don't think I know BG. Do you know Turk? I don't know Turk. Mm -hmm. Do you know Juvenile? Yeah, I know Juvenile. Back that ass up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. She don't know but them too. Yeah. But See them two, them two, they rose above the group, right? Yeah, right. And then that's it. But but that go back to what we were just saying about generations of music. Mm -hmm. That was fifty crazy. years, the fifty, the fifty shit. Like, that was to it. Like you know, like I'm trying to tell you. But hey, with that being said, they had fans, right? It ain't like don't nobody know who they is. Hey, mm -hmm. you got to get hot. What did I say? What did I say to say? He said, you only fan when you're hot. You know what I'm saying? Right. That when you when you hot, you got fans. If you ain't hot, nigga, you ain't got no fans. Ain't no need for them. You ain't hot. But yeah, yeah. Well, we ain't going to hold y'all to death, man. We ain't going to talk y'all to death, man. Uh, make sure y'all go subscribe to uh, the Chitlin Circuit on YouTube, Lil Mo Films. Make sure you go subscribe to RMJR. The D program show on YouTube. Right. Tap in. Make sure y'all go link in with Shouty. Where they can where they can uh subscribe to at Shouty. Man, you know I'm everywhere. YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. I'm all over the motherfucking place, man. But don't if you don't I mean if you don't like what I got to say, or you don't if you got a personal opinion about me, don't subscribe. I don't need it. Keep your subscription. You can come on, you can come see what I gotta say, even if you don't like it. And I'm gonna right. fire your head up. Right, getting, getting them coming get slick. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, you can get on there and jump out there if you want to. Like I'm waiting on that. I'm waiting yeah. on. I'm waiting on any type of motherfucking bullshit because I'm gonna yeah, find your ass yeah. up. Yeah. Right, it's I got the clip loaded. Damn <laughs> life. Hey, oh life. Man. But uh, we, this ain't gonna be the last. We ain't gonna do this one time this year, man. We gonna get you. We try to get you in every quarter, bro. <laughs> Four quarters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here, man. Y'all be safe, man. Love y'all, man. Hold on, man. Hold on. This we finna wrap it up. We finna wrap Moon it up. Moonhead. RM. JR. Go on here, y'all. How to say, child. Fam life. And this is. For life. The war of words. And we go, man. Oh. War of words, baby. Hey, y'all share it, man. Y'all know what it is. Hey, man.